What's going on guys, Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing and welcome back. Today I'm going to be featuring another up and coming YouTuber who goes by the name of Boom Nation. And he puts a ton of effort and work into his content. It's some of the best videos for tips and tricks, map analysis, breakdowns, all sorts of different things going on over on his channel if you like Call of Duty. And uh, this is Hydro. And this is, in my opinion, this is the best map analysis and breakdown video I have seen for the Revolution map pack yet. This is actually part one. If you go over to his channel, there will be a part two. And we're gonna start the video in just a second. Obviously, there is a link in the description to my boy Boom Nation's channel and to his Twitter account. Be sure to subscribe to him, follow him on Twitter, check out his content. If you enjoyed this video, then do us a huge favor. Click that like button and leave us some comments in the comment section. And that's it. Enjoy the video. You guys are amazing. As we take a look at the overhead view of this map, you will notice that it is quite symmetrical. What happens on one side may also happen on the other side as well. Let's now take a look at some of the more popular lines of sight on this map. You can see that they are all around the center of the map and all occur above ground. As I stated earlier, the more close quarters engagements will occur underground. If you're looking to build up your high score streaks, I highly recommend you stay out of these lines of sight at all costs. Right now you can see the purple areas of the map are lit up. These are the two main spawn points on Hydro. If you guys tend to have a more rushing or offensive play style and you like to get all up in the enemy spawn and that sort of thing like I do, I highly recommend that you do not cross into the purple sections at all because this will cause the spawns to flip and this can be very unfortunate depending on the scenario that you are in. Let's move on to some of the capture spots for this map. So here we are at the A flag. There's a few pretty good capture spots for this flag. For one, you can kind of sit behind this box right here and get some covered that way and watch this cliffside flank route. You can also sit behind that green barrel. I tend to find that one to be the most useful out of all of them. Uh, moving on now, if you'd like to catch enemies coming through this doorway, you can always look in between the forklift. I find that to be very useful as well. And then if they happen to be coming from the opposite flank route, you can sit and find some cover behind these water jugs as well. Those can all be very useful uh, just depending on the scenario. Moving on to the B flag, there are four really good capture spots for this flag. They all involve laying down behind some walls. So here's one right here uh, that you can also lay down over on this side and get some cover that way. You can also lay down on the other side if you think the enemies are coming from the other direction. Uh, lots of good options here. The only thing to keep in mind is they're going to be nading the crap out of you and you really need to have on flak jacket or a trophy system to help protect you against those grenades in C4. Uh, just make sure you're laying down down on uh, or against the wall from the opposite direction of which the enemies are coming and hopefully that'll help you out a little bit keep you hidden from their lines of sight and that sort of thing moving on to the C flag all the capture spots are pretty much symmetrical to the A flag so th there's a lot that are the same you know the green barrel the boxes uh, watching the back flank group by using these boxes over here very similar to the water jugs over by the A flag and uh, those can all be useful as they are on the C flag as well Moving back into an overhead view of the map, I'm going to show you guys two really great rush routes for this map. Now the first one can be used at any point in time in the game. It's useful pretty much no matter what, and uh, you're going to be taking the hillside flank route. This is going to lead you through the underground passageways, just make sure you don't get hit by that deathly water, and uh, this should be pretty safe. There's not always a lot of enemies in this area, especially in the middle of a match, so definitely use that if you're looking to get to one spawn from the other as quickly and safely as possible. Now let's talk about the best rush route off the start of a match. First off, you want to head up the middle of the map with your combat knife out so you can run as far as possible. Second, you want to make sure you're hugging the hillside to avoid those dangerous lines of sight that we talked about earlier. When you head through this window, you're going to come to a standstill. You have two options. One, you can head down the ladder to your right, which is always a valid answer, and you can definitely engage in some close quarter scenarios there. Or you can head to the window in front of you, proceed about your day, potentially pick up a few kills along the way, and head into the enemy spawn that way. What are you going to do? Let's take a look at how they play out. If you do decide to proceed towards the windowsill, I highly recommend that you have an assault rifle or a sniper rifle in your hands because you will be engaging in some more long range gunfights. After you take out the enemy, if there are any there, you once again want to jump out the window and hug the hillside, potentially check back on the B flag just in case, and boom, before you know it, you're in the enemy spawn. If you'd like, you can use this beautiful jump spot right here to get into the balcony in a quick and efficient manner, and now you're building up your score streaks and proceeding about your day. However, if you do decide to jump down the ladder, I recommend that you have either a close range assault rifle or the Peacekeeper SMG in your hands because at first you will be engaging in some close quarters gunfights, but then you'll be picking people off from behind this barrel as they run out of their spawn using a more long range line of sight. 
As you proceed up this ladder, hopefully you'll find some enemies up here camping. You can take them out from behind, and before you know it, you're building up score streaks in their spawn. Both of these rush routes are extremely effective and can definitely provide your team with the edge they need and the map control that is necessary to win the rest of the match. So I hope you all enjoyed part 1 of my Black Ops 2 Hydro map analysis video. Now part 2 of this video should be up on my channel very shortly if it isn't up already. So if you'd like to go check that out, once again you can click the link located down in the description of this video. That should take you straight there and I'll be showcasing some really great jumps, spots, lines of sight, and uh, all sorts of great things in that video, including some recommended class setups by me to help you absolutely annihilate the opposition on this map. I really look forward to seeing you guys over on my channel and interacting more with you all in the future. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you guys have a great day.